All right, so I'm going to do a quick tour of this character rig. So first we can check out the animation. Uh, that is all the layers of the rig. And in Procreate Dreams, you're able to make a rotation-based character rig. I wouldn't recommend it because Procreate isn't built for it. Uh, but you can do it. I did it. Just wanted to see how far I could push it. And I pushed it to the breaking point. This is the most complicated rig. I think you could feasibly make anything beyond this is a lot of trouble. The reason for that is because um, every single group, so this hips group is the main part of the rig, uh, every single group can only have a limited number of subgroups before Procreate Dreams won't let you have any more. So because of that, I had to split the head and the body into two different groups. So I can move them all together um, in this hips group. But unfortunately, I wasn't, because I ran out of layers, the head has so many layers, as you can see, I wasn't able to put the head in the same group as the torso. So I had to um, animate the torso and the head separately, and then just make sure everything tracked together after that. Everything else, though, works. It's like a full... Um, IK, or it's like full FK forward kinematic system that you can kind of do here. So let's look for, first let's close the head so it doesn't confuse me. All right, so this group here contains the body, and I've got to split into some main groups. We have the upper torso, which as you can see, uh, carries all that stuff. Um, this group carries the whole body. I didn't use that though because I just used this hip group from earlier if I wanted to animate everything at once. Um, each arm is a chain, so you can move it from the shoulder and then from the elbow and then from the wrist. And I did that for each arm. The legs would work the same, but I didn't want to bother with them, so she only has thighs, but it would be the same kind of thing. Um, I have the start of that, though. The lower body has its own group, and you can see it rotates in independently. So with this, I'm able to make some nice, like, contrapasto and other stuff like that, and that's how I accomplished this rig. The only other real thing of note about this rig is probably how the eyes are set up. Um, it's kind of a neat thing you can do. Let's see. So I have the eyelids set up so they're like this. Um, and the way that I animated blinking and some little expressions, there's one in here somewhere. Here we go. So she gets her eyes open up a little when she notices you. Instead of redrawing that, I just used a cage to form. And you're actually able to use the cage to form for uh, a lot of things. So I also used it for the blink as well. Um, the only things that I completely redrew in this animation was the mouth. Everything else is all just rotations, basically. Rotations and translations. Um, I also used some clipping masks to do some really basic lighting. But yeah, that is the rig. And that's how you would nest your layers if you ever want to make a rig like this. All right, so this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how you can rig in procreate dreams. So just first off, I want to make it clear that the rigging is very basic. Um, there's not like an actual skeletal system or anything like that. It's basically just parenting and setting anchor points. What I would recommend starting with, though, is start in procreate because it's easier to draw in, um, easier to layer and stuff. And then you're going to draw your elements separately. And you're going to group those together in an order like I have here. So I have this labeled hips because when I grab it and move it, it moves everything. Later I'll move the anchor point to where the hips are. I have to do that in dreams though. I have an area called upper torso where if I move that, you'll see that it rotates my upper torso. So once I set the anchor point, that'll look better. Same deal for the lower body. And right now I just have single thighs, but I can make whole legs later once I feel like it. Um, now inside of the upper torso, you'll see that I have the head. 
Um, and I'm going to group that with the neck real quick. And the reason for that is so that I can move the head and the neck together. When I set my anchor point there, that'll help. And then I can also move the head independently. All right. So now um, in my upper torso, I have my arms grouped uh, individually. So one thing that's important is you want to make sure that you never rotate like the torso by itself or your model is going to break. You always want to rotate the whole group so that everything moves together. All right. So now that we've got this all set up, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on animation assist. All right, so you'll see that this registers as one frame. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open up split screen. Oops. We're going to open up split screen. And our other app we're going to open is going to be Procreate Dreams. All right, so depending on how complex your rig is, this is where you might run into problems. If I try to drag the full thing in, I get this error. Maximum number of subgroups exceeded. So I've split it into two parts. The head. which has an extra frame, so I'm just going to get rid of that and scoot that over. And then I also have the body, which I'm going to bring in here. All right, so you might be thinking, OK, cool, so I'm just going to group these now. It'll give you the same thing. First, though, before we can do use our things at all, you'll see that these are just like solid things. We can't do anything with them. Uh, so we need to expand them, convert layers to tracks, and now we'll have all of our groups. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing on the head. And now, for whatever reason, um, I can just grab the head and put it in here, and it works. So now we have the full rig um, in one spot. All right, and we'll cut off those thighs so nobody knows that she doesn't have lower legs. And this is where we get into the fun part. Uh, we're going to start setting up our anchors so that we can properly animate this. So now you can go ahead and fully expand this. Um, I recommend zooming in a lot here um, so it's a little easier to work with. All right. And now I'm going to expand this. And do you want to make sure that you had your stuff named? That's going to make it a lot easier. So for our head, we're going to edit our anchor point. Uh, we're going to start it at the neck. All right. Then this is for our body. Uh, we don't want to move this group just yet. We need to move our head deeper in here. All right. Now you'll see, remember where our head anchor point is. And we're going to move our head into our can't do that. All right. So yeah, um, our head, unfortunately, it's not going to move with the rest of our body, but hopefully they'll expand that limit in the future. Um, but it's still not going to be too horrible to animate this stuff. We'll just have to uh, work around that. Our right arm, going to move the anchor point to the shoulder. Can expand this. Our lower arm, going to move the anchor point to the elbow and our left hand will move the anchor point to the wrist all right so now we can do the same thing on our left arm hips same thing and then right thigh we're going to put right up here and left thigh we're going to put right up here okay cool so now that we've got that set up uh we now have something we can Pose and animate. Yeah, that's a pretty nice rotation. All right. So then we can see the same thing with our upper torso. And um, ideally, the head would be parented to this, aka the head would be grouped in there. But we ran out of space. There we go. And I'm going to see if it will let me expand all of the groups at once. 
it might not, so I might have to do it individually. And it crashed, cool. Oh, okay, the file's completely, <laughs> I guess the file's corrupted. Cool, um, well, that's the end of the tutorial then, I guess.